I'm not repeating it again. <laughs> Big time technical difficulties. The mechanic. Are you better than or worse than the mechanic, Randy? <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Or will it be a tie? Looks like you're better than the mechanic. Yeah. Hell yeah. You can't take that shit. You beat that <laughs> shit. <laughs> We're all driving the same type of car. <laughs> metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> that's a metaphor for you, Randy. I <coughs> said so that's a metaphor. That's the universe speaking at you. Yeah. <laughs> Look exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Randy is a mechanic right now. So if that that makes any, oh, any no, no, correlation. No. I got gotcha. you. I thought that was what you were doing the last time, so <laughs> it kind of was on the same page. Ain't nothing wrong with being a mechanic. People wreck cars every day. <laughs> Things break every day. They do. They do. I mean, honestly, there ain't nothing wrong with you getting your own little side business started, but she needs some cash. Which we can talk about after uh, we get everything over there. You won't need much. You won't need much. Throw it all in your car for off the roadside assistance. And that's your business right there. Boom. Some people want a really cheap contract. I mean, hey. As long you, as it's legal, man, why the fuck not? You would, know? You, would you tell me, uh, they offer roadside assistance, but how often, uh, how, you're going to wait three to four hours for them to show up, right? Uh, I used to contemplate offering people like computer services, but and I got to catch up on some things now. Absolutely, <laughs> man. You're always good. You're always good. I know it's hard to work in, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just saying, like, th things have changed so much since what I knew that I have to kind of yeah. relearn. Okay, spun up. I know one guy, um, that, uh, a buddy of mine that, uh, we saw earlier today, um, he's a software developer, and I was thinking about, you know, maybe trying to get in, get my, get my own foot in there with that. I don't know, but uh, I don't. I don't even have a desktop. I have a little laptop. You know what I mean? Like I don't really mess with computers like that that much. I, I mess with consoles. Peaches. But that doesn't really mean anything, I guess. Huh? You know. Yeah, so Peaches hopped in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say nothing. But, I don't know. Oh, I didn't hear you. I feel like that would be a uh, work for me. Fuck off. I missed hanging out with you all. I had to get stuck at work a few times. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know you're cool. Yeah, I get it, man. I would have went in today, but uh, I didn't because I was feeling kind of kind of off from getting my COVID, uh, my second COVID shot. Uh, yeah, that shit really does fuck with you, dude. Yeah, man. I have some people that sit there and say it didn't bother them at all. I kind of call it bullshit. Some people it doesn't bother. Like I'm saying at all. <laughs> I feel you. I just, yeah, I've, I've been feeling off this whole weekend and like, I 
Oh, Peaches drop lovin's in the stream. Thank you, Peaches. At least now I'm, you know, more more guarded up against the shit. You know what I mean? In theory. <laughs> Pack some more of that shit. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> what the hell have you been up to today, Peaches? This is about to be fun. Oh, don't have high expectations on the new Scream movie. No. I hear <laughs> the best part about it was like how more graphic the kills got. That's yeah. about it. I love this. Come over here and I'll start screaming for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I get to sit back and just talk to chat, dude. Mm -hmm. Double-edged sword, I get good content and you get to drive. <laughs> Definitely getting good content. <laughs> this man was on a lawnmower and squeaked through a first place victory by like a quarter of a second. We didn't get it on stream, but that was our cue to start streaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes me stressful. So oh. stressful. Right? Yeah. I try to make them more stressful. It's just like they don't know how to drive when I tap them, like they tap me. Uh huh. Yeah, but Dale, I think you're right. How do you spell anxiety? W R E C K. We should start spelling that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> that is one way to spell anxiety. <laughs> He makes it look like the game plays itself. <laughs> Not that good. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call Sony and be like, any racing game, I can do a demo for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will be that footage that you fucking show in the commercials. How about that? <laughs> uh -huh. How close did you want me to that pavement line? <laughs> Three inches you? closer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey <coughs> Ricky, I got this gig I need you to come do. <laughs> it's, it's for this Party racing game for Sony. I bet I'm coming over here. Let's get this shit done. <laughs> I already have it for like 72 hours, man. Come on. <laughs> Fridge will be stocked with beer, fucking bowls of chips and shit out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that bathroom's two doors over. I guess I suppose we could always run a hose.
How are you gonna come in here and immediately start yawning, Peach? <laughs> yeah, that's just that's fucking contagious. For you. <laughs> I wonder where everybody else is tonight. Green pass. Usually I come on and you all are already in here. <laughs> Green pass. <laughs> already. In first, within the first room. I wonder what's so fucking special on a Monday night and nobody's on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... That's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Steel and so that other dude. Uh, oh yeah, there's, there's Dami and there's Kappa every now and then. Hell. You remember that person? Um, I think her name was Blue. What the fuck ever happened to her? <laughs> I believe that's a guardrail, not a fence. <laughs> Not let this one burn out. Might be close to needing a repack, but if it does, just let me know and I will do so. Lighter. She's uh, on her last hit, or she needs. Like I'm too fucking close. Wait. <laughs> I'm right there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Damn, I completely did it in my best life in a minute. See, I'm glad you're playing. I wouldn't have thought to start upgrading the car. I would have started buying all the fucking vehicles. <laughs> Shoot, my, my car of this one, I think it is, on the PS4. Yeah. It's literally like a rocket right now. I bought every upgrade for it. Yeah, it's still going. Which 
Joker one. That's what that is. It's <laughs> grinding the fuck away, man. Damn, that was like Niagara Peach. I, I actually thought that's what you were doing, Jesus Christ. Have I heard about your poop experience, Peach? I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'll say it again. Oh, Jesus another time. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> For recap, too lazy to poop. Had a very long pee. Amazing. Oh, Oh, so yeah, and Scream, they invent a new term, too, by the way. Be prepared for that. <laughs> oh, just spoil it for me, damn. Huh? No, you just know... Just spoil it for me. It, it, you, you, it's not even a spoiler. It's just stupid. You know how everybody is all up in arms about, like, reboots, sequels, and remakes all together? Well, uh -huh. you will be introduced to what they classify as a requel. Oh, my lord. <laughs> they must really be running out of ideas. It, 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 what that is basically is how they explain it is, it's a re, it's a reboot of the series, but it's a sequel, so it falls in line with the rest of the movies. My lord. Bitch, it's a fucking sequel. X amount of years later. Right. Fuck you kidding? The same damn people. Like 20 years later, no, yeah. Not really. Um, they all come together by the end of the movie, but it doesn't start off that way. <sighs> what happened with Aaron Hollifield? Huh? What happened to Aaron Hollifield? This shit got fucked. Oh, uh, he should have. So, any messages you get from that Facebook one is? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just his Facebook page. Think more along the lines of kids or relatives of. No, but it's not a sequel yet. <laughs> Have you ever watched the Scream TV show? I started downloading it because I remember I didn't like it, but usually when I don't like something the first time around, I give it another shot and it grows on me. Plus, I'm running out like of other shit to watch, so... <laughs> They fucking go on Kill Dexter. They fucking. I'm so pissed at that. Mountain Monsters is on TV, and that's cool and all. But it's kind of after the third episode, same old shit. <laughs> I'm still mourning over Dexter. Nah, I think if they do continue that series, it'll be like with Harrison and Harrison sees like Dexter, like Dexter saw Harry and Deb. That would be a great ass idea, but I'd still be sad Dexter's gone. I mean, how else are you gonna, if they go with, yeah, he's dead, then how else are you gonna be able to make him still part of the series and still call it Dexter? <laughs> I mean, what are they gonna do? Come out with a new series, call it Harrison, and everybody's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Until it's like halfway through the season or starting the second season? Then somebody's gonna catch on. Oh, it's a continuation of Dexter. I don't fucking care. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna hear it by word of mouth. Oh, but Michael C. Hall's in it. And then you go back and watch it. Well, how the fuck's he in it? <laughs> if he's dead. And then you lose like half a fucking century watching uh, catch up. 
like I did. Mainly because I forgot everything that had happened. I think it was just sad how the fuck they ended it, though. Uh, like, if it was you, if it was you, how would you want it to end? I mean, I, I get that he was doing it because he asked him to, and he knows what he was doing was wrong. But I mean, his own son didn't even hesitate. He's like right where I showed you, bam. <laughs> There was hesitation during that monologue that was going through Dexter's head. That was the whole hesitation right there. It wasn't like that was a split second. But, on the other hand, I'm sitting here saying, like, how personally would you want to have seen the series end? Like, yes, he still died, but just not at the hands of Harrison? I kind of wanted him to live. But then, in a sense, wouldn't be we left with the same finale we had back in season eight? <laughs> yeah, him being on the run, but. Oh, yeah. Quarter away to ten. At least then we could make our own ending. Like he's completely killing all well, the bad people and getting away with it for the next twenty years. This is well, then he dies an old man. This well, is considering funny. that. <laughs> Buses. Fucking hell. Or it could be a father-son killing team. <laughs> well, considering that the books actually take place in Los Angeles, I wouldn't have mind seeing them end up in Los Angeles. The hell are you driving? The short bus, Randy? Damn, that is a short bus. No, it's not even a bus. <laughs> it's a three-wheel car. Yeah. Well, they really want to challenge you, don't they? Oof! Oh, man. There you go, Peach. An advertisement for Bang right there. There you go. Two Ooh. of them. Two of them. I love Bang. Three. I'm surprised I'm not <laughs> fucking sponsored by Bang at this point. All I do is talk about it. Today I have Wild and Watermelon. I, I love the Delish Strawberry Kiss, the new one, but I can never fucking find it. Clearly everyone else loves it, too. I can't drink that shit no more. Well, at least not as much as I was. Oh, no, you're not laughing. You're still in eighth place. I was, uh, I have, like, There's really bad stomach buses. ulcers. So I gotta, like, even curb drinking and take, like, spicy foods in moderation. I'm lactose intolerant and I still eat cheese because the poop yeah. is worth it. Because I love pizza. It is worth the shit. Fourth place. Also, no gallbladder, so I'll probably have the shits anyway. <laughs> Thrilling conversation. Um, yeah, dude, this thing's like cutting off on me. Maybe I'm not pulling too hard, but. <laughs> oh, shoot. I got you. She said. Yeah. That's what it was doing to me. <coughs> I think the battery's dead or something. Oh, I'm back in the bow here. I just gotta hit the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, battery is messing with Actually. It. <laughs> Lies. I don't know. It's all good. No oh, RC. So peaches. You've been missing some great ass content, by the way. How dare you have a job? No. Uh, this, Almost every yeah. night, me and Bon have no, been streaming, no, and we ju we just have the greatest fucking commentary. I'm just saying, oh, yeah. we talk about the funniest shit, and we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. It's called life, and then life you have to work sometimes. Not all of us can be uh, look have the luxury of actually sitting at home all the time. Some of us actually like having money in our pocket and bills paid. Your mom says yeah, see, I don't have that part. <laughs> yeah, that whole bills paid thing, that's what I'm missing. I was going to say, <laughs> if you want to stay for dinner, I'm making some uh, butterfly chicken breast sauteed. Yeah. 
I heard chicken boobies. I think all we're having is burgers. You're better off having that. <laughs> <laughs> We just had burgers last night. They were banging. Not good, they but then they stick with you a little bit. Yeah, man, they do. <laughs> they, they really do. Oh, and that's if she feels up to it. It might even just end up being a fin for ourselves night anyway. Okay. It, she had out there and shoveled in the snow and shit was before I went to work and then like Ooh. after I went to work. Yeah, I, I had a, uh, I was talking to her a little bit yesterday, and I asked her how, how it was over here. Well, for the most part, everything's good. I just gotta get Hoodlehead downstairs to fucking realize that he's not gonna become the next great fucking streamer, and he needs to get a job. Oh. Like even, I guarantee you, even most of the mid-level streamers are probably working part-time jobs, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know. Oh, yeah. That's why I don't stream for money. I've met a lot of funny people. I mean, she, you work in a full-time job and streaming. That's just like Peach said, she doesn't do it for money, and that's exactly how I started off. It's like, if I make money, I make money. Yeah. I've met some really funny people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I lost And I've learned a lot of new curse words. You can come back, Randy. And the fact that I've grown the channel and the community as much as I have and the time I put into it, yeah. I'm satisfied with that. I don't if need to I be come super back big. On this one, just know, I don't know how I did it. Because at the end of the day, I'm a 40 year old that still gets to play video games, whether or not I'm getting paid. Right? There you go. With a wife who likes it. Uh -huh. She doesn't say, it. get off the video games, why don't you pay attention to me? Four. Oh, shit. Three. Two. Come on, man. Push. Oh, uh, uh, you got chewed up by Buzzsaw. Uh, it's because of that, rip, that last red coop. Uh, hey, you got, a, got an achievement, dirty roller. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. I rolled like 30 times in that one wreck. <laughs> It's Monday. What the fuck comes on TV on a Monday? Nothing important. Yeah, I'm sure that was. <laughs> what channel is that on, Peach? <laughs> she, what, huh? she just belched. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I get what you did there. <laughs> oh, okay, so apparently I'm immune to COVID. Uh, yeah, we've had this conversation. Either no, that no, it got worse. Either that or you've already had it uh, a couple of times and you just don't get it bad or whatever. So, um, John's sister came over one day. Apparently she had COVID. Mm -hmm. No, fucking told me. This is the and same then, conversation we had. <laughs> no, and then two days later, did we really? Yeah. Two days About later. About James getting called in from school. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> And then Sophia. <laughs> I didn't know about oh, Sophia. Yeah. There's where oh, we're yeah, playing the next catch day, up. Is a multi yeah, the next day they called me about Sophia yeah, and asked to take her test. So she was negative too. To and then the, the birthday party. Okay. Well, maybe we are up to this point. I remember the birthday party as well. Okay, so yeah, after the birthday party, after they told me that uh, Riley ended up getting COVID, I got called by the school like an hour later saying that James was in close contact and they wanted to test him. Mm -hmm. So they tested him and then the next day they called so about Sophia. <laughs> we're all still here like, you're gone. Man. COVID's afraid of my crazy ass. At this point, it's fucking just another goddamn virus out there, man. 
there's not going to be some mystical cure where overnight it's just gone. It's going to be here. Get over it. Winter time comes around. You got another thing to get sick from. It's okay. Hey, Steel. You muted. I am aware. Yes. Hey, Steel. Hi. I mean, has it really gotten to the point where the world's gotten so fucking offended now that you get sick randomly and it's the worst fucking disease in the world? Okay. Oh my god, right? We, we can't call it the flu again this year. What are we going to call it? The Rona 2.0? <laughs> you know, one person, one person at work, um, what's it called? One person at work, whenever I just got off of um, being infected with uh, corona or whatever, COVID whatever you want to call it, I don't know but um yeah, one person uh, asked me shortly after I got done with Rona, they were like you're still kind of coughing a little do you have Rona? and I was like I just got off of it and they were like, oh my god you got COVID uh, like making a fuck about it Oh, They're only really contagious the first day. No, it's like, just... I don't know, it's just my point. They like to use that argument, too. While it's mm -hmm. killing the elderly and those with pre-existing immuno issues, they fucking die from the flu and shit anyway. Except for Jerry over there. He could die from the fucking cold. Just look at him. But my point Even being... Even Betty White said, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, my, my point being, it's just another fucking illness. We need to get off of this fucking horse that is the next great fucking plague or some shit and everybody needs to get back to fucking normal and start acting like normal fucking human beings. Is my argument here. <laughs> well see here's my here's my thing on it. <laughs> my thing is people honestly like I agree with your point with your statement that you're making. But here's my thing on it. The more that our president and even more importantly our government keeps selling this uh, you gotta get vaccined or like vaccinated like or whatever. They're making or money off of it. <laughs> if they keep saying, Oh, you know yeah. make sure that I like like make sure you uh, get vaccinated and make sure like they're just trying to make this um, virus like if they keep pushing it then people are just gonna keep being scared like if they keep pushing the fear mongering yeah, they're not have that preloaded I'm, I'm listening to you too steel no you're, you're fine you're fine but yeah the more they push the fear mongering the more the people are going to listen to the president because they think the president's right or whatever I think it's funny how all of my friends have been vaccinated we all went to a birthday party and they got COVID and I did and they're like I ain't vaccinated and, and then she like, questioned me on it I mean yeah, aren't, like, aren't we supposed to get the flu shot every year because of that very reason I mean, I was like there's the problem right there. You got vaccinated, so you got sick. <laughs> it's the same See, damn have, thing um, with the flu shot. Bronchial asthma. So every time I fucking cough, because I can't afford my fucking inhaler, people look at me so fucking weird. This is a really weird skin. We're supposed to be wearing our masks at work until the end of the month, man. I was overnight last night. Nobody was coming in. I took that motherfucker off. I was like, fuck this. I ain't wearing this the whole shift. Uh, oh. Yeah, that, God. that was really bad. <laughs> I, uh, I saw this post the other day where it said Delaware tax-free shopping, uh, Maryland mask-free shopping, and I had the post back. I said, what fucking part of Maryland are you in? Apparently, because everybody's wearing masks around here, buddy. <laughs> yeah, like, whenever I'm at work, we have to wear masks mandatory. And if they're talking about Ocean City, Maryland, that shit don't count. That's a resort town. Right. And that's the closest fucking town to Delaware, so that's probably what they're talking about. Mm 
Oh, man. This just got me in a ranting philosophical mood, man. What kind of fucking weed is this? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't been here for so goddamn long. <laughs> Gotta catch up. <laughs> Next, we'll talk about schools. <laughs> ah, love shit. Them. I already took Mike out of schools. Let's not talk <laughs> about it. <laughs> Bull- <laughs> bullies are on some new level shit, man. Yeah. Oh, my God, right? I feel so bad. My son came home saying that someone Bullies called him retarded. You want to know the worst so thing bad. that someone's ever called me oh, in uh, public school? I bet you hate Brand. Carlos Mencia uh, Peaches. I don't know. I've never seen him. Uh, What's he, the worst he, thing they've called you in school, Steel? <laughs> a redneck retard. Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. The reason why? Because I was getting more attention than the guy that accused that basically called me that. Oh, he yeah, was he was uh Because I'm more popular than him. He was all butthurt. If he wants attention, he needs to get himself out there. Stop being a wallflower. He got butthurt. Yeah, he got butt hurt because I was getting most of the attention because I was actually one of the kids that actually tried to express themselves. I'm gonna be a nice killer. I just need to send four people to the Cage of Atonement. So if they just let me do that once each, I'll be good. Of course, it's not gonna work that way. Of course not. Killer apples. <clears throat> Although they're all consoles, so maybe I'll just kill them all. Console killer! <laughs> that was mildly disturbing. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> I do that all the time, RC. What are you talking about? <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh my goodness. I bet I just delivered a shock right there. <laughs> I mean, I'm used to hearing that shit from Bon Bon and Peach. There's one. <laughs> so. <laughs> you're used to hearing it from Bon, a female. So you're not used to hearing it from a man. <laughs> this motherfucker is gonna make me uh, make me reinvite somebody. <laughs> Who, I know me? what you're talking about. If he wants to see bad. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, no, it's it's only the same if um, he brings a girlfriend in here and he hits on her. Nah, nah. Nah, I wouldn't mind him coming back except for that part of the equation. That that's still where I draw the line on that, you know. I'm wondering if he got better or he just not around. So. <laughs> because <clears throat> he said he wanted to propose to her. Haven't heard from him since. <laughs> she said no. Huh. That's interesting. I guess it all depends on is he still blaming us or is he taking responsibility? If that's the case, the second part's the case, then yeah, you would be welcome back. But if he's still like trying to point the finger at all of us because he got expelled from the group, then yeah, he still got. After all the shit he said to everyone, though. I mean, what the fuck? He's got. He's dread. He's going to go out in a dramatic fashion. Yeah, but how are you going to say that about your friend, your best fucking friend, and then, um, you know, ask to come back? That That's an inside joke in it, it's out of itself, too. We've had that conversation. I <laughs> know, best fucking friend. I feel like we're stuck in an episode of Red Dwarf every time that subject comes up. He's my friend! He's my best fucking friend! Now fuck off, asshole! <laughs> you weren't shit, dude. Yet, you, you were a fucking... Bald, fucking, almost middle-aged man that was hitting on, like, underage girls while you had a girlfriend. That's why you got expelled. Period. I think he had, like, some sort of heart attack or something and then let it become verbal. (coughs) No. I see my best friends once a week. Oh shit, look at that. (laughs) They are here. (laughs) Oh shit. What do you guys 
serious fighting damage. Nah, that's just this guy from Michigan that was a part of GP who was starting to claim that me and him were like best fucking friends because I helped him out with a computer and shit like that. And my whole point is like it takes a little bit more than that for us to be like best fucking friends. Aww. Like you gotta fucking come visit or something, Aww, let's go dude. fishing, something, you know. <laughs> well, that's that's actually uh, chill on a almost daily or weekly basis and like you actually do shit and yeah, then you're fucking best friend friend period I'm super excited for tomorrow bottom line if you come over to my house more than once and you know where most of the dishes are and have been told that if you leave this house with your stomach empty then maybe you're not a friend <laughs> 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 if my dog has not barked at you constantly while her tail is going a mile a minute <laughs> but, but yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Are you excited for this dick? Oh my god, uh, I knew no, it was something. I knew, I knew it was somewhere. The dream tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. Expectations low, pal. Jesus. Expectations low? Are you high? Mm, well, generally, but. Yeah, I, I've seen it already. Expectations low. I've been hearing it's nothing but greatness. The only thing great about it was the graphical kills. Storyline element and all that shit, nope. Same old shit. I don't think people really go, in, go into a horror movie for the storyline. You do when you've seen every single other one of them in theaters. You remember old fart in the group? <laughs> when that shit was part of like your high school years. If somebody told me, if somebody told me that the storyline sucked, if I went to go see a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, I would have said I really don't care. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie timeline is so unbelievably stupid that people really don't go for the storyline. They go for the people. Oh, I mean, I'm not arguing that particular one. I mean, because if you want a good storyline, that one at least is for technically. A horror movie, I would probably say the Saw series probably has the best, the oh, best uh, storyline. I hate the Saw series. I can't even fucking watch it. Why is that? It seems too fucking real. I just, I can't. Because that can well, really happen. If there. you wanna, if that, there that's is the one point. thing, one phrase, one phrase, or actually one nickname, I give the Saw series. It is literally. I've said this before, but the Saw series is literally just torture porn. Actual real life torture porn. It seems like. I mean, if they even fucking brought back Friday the 13th again, which at this point they could do. The lawsuits and shit's been lifted. God damn, it's all warm. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I want in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, Friday the 13th is um, the only thing I want in terms of Friday the 13th Hold that thought, Steel. I gotta uh, I see just my friends out Jason real quick. Voorhees in Dead by Daylight. That's all I want. Oh my god, that would be great.